everyone, welcome back. It's Rachel with Living the Journal Life, and today we're back in my Hobonichi Cousin, and I thought we would do some daily pages. So this is um, May 18th and 19th, and I love using up leftovers on my daily pages. So I'm using these leftover, I think they're from two years worth of bee kits, because they're a little bit different art, so it's probably leftover from last year's bee kit and this year's bee kit. And this adorable washi, also from Sweet Kawaii Design, and I just really love using up uh, all of my leftovers, all the little things, throw some washi together, and it really looks fun, and you get to use every single last sticker, because I don't know about you, but I can't use every single sticker that comes in these kits. There's just too much. And this cloud washi is from Itty Bitty Sticker Co. with the adorable Molly on it, and I just thought it looked kind of fun with Molly in the clouds and the little bees buzzing underneath her. So I'm using these double boxes up here because they fit sort of perfectly and I know <laughs> that uh, the 18th seems very, very uh, angled and it is. My planner is getting super chunky. She, she is chunky. And uh, the last month, May and then June, she gets really chunky. It's actually kind of hard to write on the left hand side on the daily pages in June and then July I get a whole new book so it makes <laughs> just about the time when I'm like oh I can't handle the chunk I get a new book so it'll work out friends I promise. Now I'm just looking for a dot marker that kind of matches the colors and I actually think I have the whole zig clean colored dot marker line now. They're really expensive so I bought one little package seeing if I would like them and seeing if I'd use them and now I use them every single day in multiple planners in multiple ways so I've slowly been adding to my collection and getting all the colors which is really fun so now I get to go through every time I want to use them and I have a little blotting page just to make sure that I'm getting like the color I want it's kind of fun um, I'm I don't like to buy things that I don't use, but when I use it every day, I, it's like washy. I feel like it's okay to, to splurge a little bit on something that you use all the time and brings you joy. So yeah, that's what we're doing here. And I'm making a little box because I really like to have the weather on my daily pages. On the weekly pages, it tends to be what the actual weather was, which in the Pacific Northwest, they always underestimate the sun. So. If it's a sunny day, I usually add five degrees to what the forecast tells me, but sometimes that's not even enough and that's still wildly inaccurate. When it's a cloudy day, it's the forecast is pretty much spot on, but if there's any sun involved, the uh, forecasters just don't know what to do right now. So this is a partially sunny day, so it probably was pretty accurate. But this is where I put the forecasted weather just so, oh wow, I really hit my camera there. Sorry about that, guys. Just so I know what to sort of clothes to wear in spring. The spring has been crazy. Some days it's 60 degrees is the high and some days it's 95. So I, I really kind of need this right now. I'm not sure what season we're in from day to day. Uh, luckily right now when I'm filming this we're past the icky season but I'm sure summer is coming back with a vengeance soon. So I'm trying to get a lot of baking done and filling my freezer with lots and lots of food. So. I do a lot of flipping back and forth. I like to pre-plan as much as I can. I got I know when I work, I put down my um, cleaning for the day. And on Fridays, I like to run a lot of errands. So I run, get groceries, I do my donations. I'm trying to donate stuff once a week because my garage is just overflowing with stuff that needs to get out of my house. And then I could actually park in my garage. So it's just that I need to go and sort through and make sure that everything goes to its proper home so that I'm reusing as much stuff as possible. But over the last few years, we've just accumulated a bunch of things that we don't no longer need and don't fit in this house. So I try and donate every Friday is the moral of that story. And now I'm just looking through my Molly stash to get a couple of cute Mollies to add to my to-do list. Totally optional, but I think it, I don't know, it just makes me smile. <laughs> I don't know if you're that way, but it it makes adds just a little bit of pizzazz. <laughs> so I hope that you understand my need for a little bit of pizzazz. What I do with these daily pages is, especially if I'm being decorative, I need to make sure that there is a place for a to-do list because this is where my brain 
explosion happens. This is where the to-do list happens. And then on the right side, I like to make notes. And that could be um, a phone call with a doctor's office that I need to take notes on or uh, something in a meeting or just my journaling for the day you know this nothing exciting nothing big but like oh I saw my favorite squirrel today I think she's pregnant I'm, I'm pretty sure she's pregnant or my toehees have been very active and chatting at me because I now have toehee friends I even have crow friends who will knock on my uh fireplace flu <laughs> To say hi. So I'm just giving you a few days and you can see what I do afterwards. Like this is truly after the pen, but this is me pre-setting up the end of the week. So I hope you guys like this look into my planner and I'll see you next time.